my little brother Anthony. Brother Billy, I'm excited. Mm-hmm. I got. Well, I can't tell you what I'm excited about because it hasn't happened yet, and you know, you know how things may not happen. However, I'm still excited because last night, or yesterday, last night, yesterday, the night, what? Guess what? I had a university experience. You say, "Well, you have a university. You go to university. How can you not have a university experience when you go to university?" What I'm saying is that when you have a university, it's like. The universe is your, how do you say that? The universe is your is your learning, is your school. That's the whole thing. Okay. You know, they like for instance right now, he's rolling around books in the university. He's rolling around books on a card. Well, because the book's supposed to have some stuff in it and it, that people have recorded for a long time and then the stuff is supposed to be true or not true. And you know, you learn from that thing. But you can also learn. Like the fan is going around. Well, you're saying, hey, the fan is going around. You have some thoughts about going around fans. Anyway, my point is, at the university, anybody, you can get knowledge from anybody. Now, last night, I had some young cats. I'm saying young cats, you know, the students, you know. And they came over to the house. I got some I got some tambaza meat for them, you know, fried up. Mr. Hetto, we had the chicken. We killed the chicken right there, put the feathers, you know. We had a bride with some chicken, a deposit of meat, a little salad, you know, that my wife made. And we talked. Now, in the regular world, you'll call it chat. We chatted. But we talked, you know. And, you know, one cat was from, like, he was from the school where he was like a, he, he's like heavy into, like, well, capitalism, you know what I mean? He thinks whatever everything about capitalism. Another cat, he's a member of the EFF. That's a political party. The, what was that? the Economic Freedom Fighters. That's their party. I'll tell you about them some other time because he went through the whole thing and explained it, but I got, I'm about to record and see what it is now. But here's the thing. And of course, I come from like, let's call it the uh, 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 beating up on the white supremacist school <laughs> of learning. Anyway, so we were, we were just talking and talking and talking like in the old days are you supposed to, you know, hash things out. And then they kept on saying things like, well, uh, 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 racism is the problem, you know, socialism is the problem. And I kept on saying, well, no, even if you have a problem, what's the solution? The solution needs to be, um, and I, I used the nearly fuller thing, which is like, you have to guarantee that no one is mistreated. Every time they say something, they say, no, no, as long as they say, well, what's, what's the, what's the uh, outcome? Are you guaranteeing that no one is mistreated? And every time they say something, I said that. I didn't even get to the second part because that's, that's the definition of justice. Guarantee that no one is mistreated. No being is mistreated. I didn't even get to the second part because I keep on for The second part, guarantee no one is no one is mistreated. And what, what, what was Scully say? What, what, what's that second part? I keep on what was that? What, what was it? Help. Oh, if you need help, yeah. the, uh, the, the constructive help. That's right. Guarantee no one's mistreated, and and whoever needs help, you give them the most constructive help. I never get to that second part because I'm just stuck on the first part. I'm going like if you, you know, that's the that's the important part to me. I don't care. Everybody needs it. But they kept on trying to get that to, to say to say, and I kept on saying, well, does that mean it's racism? Well, does that mean? Doesn't that mean people are mistreated? Well, and it was really interesting because after a while they said they sort of like. You know, university is like enlightenment. They understood. So I felt, you know, we had some little knowledge, you know, back and forth. And they, at the end, they said, well, well brother, we're really, we was, now we was late. It was like 11 o'clock. It was like late, you know. They were just appreciative that they had that little session. And they actually said, you know, we don't do this. How come we don't do this at university? How come we don't talk to each other like this? Mm-hmm. Anyway, this has been one of those dispatches from the arts director of Meredith. That would be for well, me, T, from the Pattersons taking the trenches to bed. Let you know what I only suspect. Mm-hmm.